With a population of over 180 million and still counting, it is not out of place that Lagos, the commercial net center of the country, would be faced with an increase in local transportation demand. For the Akiomi Ambodi administration, it's resolved to redefining public transportation in Lagos State and reducing heavy loss of manpower in traffic gridlocks has brought about gigantic investments in water transportation subsector. With over 20 jetties and terminals plus designated ferry routes, the Lagos State Waterways Authority is committed to stimulating more patronage with the scaling up of terminals and jetties that can match up to international standards. Commuters across Lagos have been enjoying safe, efficient and conducive boating experience. With almost 2 million travel count monthly, a lot more people still need to take advantage of this timely, fast and secure means of transportation. It also helps reduce the risk of you receiving queries from your boss when you go to work late at work. For commuters that have um, cars, our parking space is large, so you can at least park your car for a whole day with a little token. Everywhere, we dump everywhere, but when you take water, your direction you are going to direct, you will be in there in time. So we should not actually be afraid of the water, but, but as an organization, we're taking up that responsibility of creating a lot of awareness. And I think one of the critical things that water transportation is about being safe in terms of wearing your life jacket. And once you have that life jacket on, no matter what happens in the case of any accident, the life jacket will keep you safe till um, help gets to you. When you think of how much time saving plying the waterways is, it is relatively affordable and the shuttles vary from jetty to jetty. So it's actually capital intensive and the advantages is what makes it slightly more expensive than the roads. Um, however, it doesn't mean that government is not looking into seeing what they can do about that. But when you consider the fact that you're going to be saving yourself time, um, it's less dangerous to your health. I think for those advantages, passengers generally are tuned to paying a little higher than road transportation for water transportation. On the island and from Ikrodo as well, it's just a flat rate of 500 naira. It's just a token that you can pay to get you faster to your place of work. With government playing its part of continuously upgrading its waterways transport system, it is still not without some form of challenges in terms of partnership, collaboration and cooperation. People sometimes wanting to break the rules. So we have operators sometimes still wanting to ply beyond the 7 o'clock um, um, deadline, which they shouldn't, um, 7 o'clock um, time, cut off time, which they shouldn't be on the waterways as well. So we have those airing operators sometimes. And then we have those passengers who are always in a hurry and telling the operators to keep speeding. You know, uh, and generally funding is not so easy for the state government alone because it has to be, there has to be, um, interest from the private sector as well to bring in their own funds into the sector as well. The waterways is safe, fast and secure and it will most definitely take off the stress of spending several hours in traffic jams. Aditola Coyote, Lagos Television News.